Hi everybody, welcome back to the vlog. It's April 8th. Tomorrow is a holiday. And for a quick breather, I am going to Dingalan, Aurora. I'm joining a joiner's trip all by myself. It's gonna be my first time joining a joiner's, well, joining as a solo joiner. I've, um, I've joined joiner trips before, but I was with friends. So it's definitely gonna be a different experience, at, at least I hope. Um, and I'm excited. So if you are too and you wanna know what's in Dingalan and what to expect, in joiner trips to Dingalan or Aurora, keep on watching this video. I booked this day tour through Alpha Hikers Mountaineering via Hinepaps and I will put their link on the description box. Depending on your ride speed and if you're traveling in the B hours, you can expect to arrive in Aurora after 3 to 4 hours. For joining trips, it's usual to stop over at Helen Singnangan to grab breakfast. We arrived at the Dingalan for the airport at 5.30 a.m., which is an hour and a half earlier than when most boats transport tourists to the White Beach. I took this time to introduce myself to fellow joiners who I will be hanging with for the whole day. Right before we rode our boat, our tour guide met us and did a quick orientation. The Dingalan Day Tour has a jam-packed itinerary that begins with a 15-minute boat ride to the White Beach. considerably inclined terrain, most especially for beginners like me. It was a continuous uphill climb, but all those steps were worth it because at the top, you will be welcomed by this beauty.
There are two peaks for this trail, the Mountain View Deck and the Lighthouse. Not all growers still trek to the Lighthouse, but if you're watching this and if you want to make the most of your trip, please go to the Lighthouse. The next few clips will show you just why. These are some of the strongest and biggest waves I had the chance to see. But I'm not complaining as how the boat rose is my kind of cave. Luckily, we were able to go to both the Lamal Cave and Rock Formations for some sea and sun therapy. Then after a few swims, we headed back to White Beach, flashed up and prepared to go back to Dingalan for their part. Galan Peter Port, we rode our van to Valdez Parking where we rode the tricycle up the entrance of the falls. Tourists have two options, either walk to the entrance or ride a tricycle for 40 pesos each. from a cliff that past experiences told me to just stop out. All in all, the dip to the waterfall was a wonderful way to end this itinerary. That sums up my Dingalan solo enjoyment trip. For those of you who are thinking about going on this day tour as well, I have outlined tips I hope can help you in preparing and you will find them on the description box below. This was definitely a positive experience for me and actually excites me for the next solo trips I'll take on. So, see you there and I hope to see you on the next vlog as well. Thank you for watching!